to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Some of us today, our mothers have told us, don't ever bring a poor man. Do you know why? because of something that they saw there is a yoke upon their family all the women suffer they enter wicked marriages where they suffer like slaves and so in an attempt to help you say look go and bring a rich man bring as prosperous a man as you can get and don't be free from what i'm telling you and watch the drama that happens when that ring enters your hand this is what i do every day it's like a lecturer that has been teaching if my life did not experience this it would be that i'm just talking because of people i've been a victim of what i'm sharing for you that look study the ministries in zaria they don't reach three years safely something must arise and happen find out how many men of god have been in this city for many years and look at the track record that follow it's not that they are bad there are spirits there are powers there are yokes and if our eyes are not open to it then we're getting into trouble are you ready to pray again i'd like you to say lord in this series the challenge in my life and my family must come to end Hallelujah. I have met spirits in my life. Sit down. I've met all kinds of spirits. The first time I met a physical demon spirit, physical, it was inside the campus, ABU there. There was a generator there. It was in the night. I was praying alone. I'm not talking vision. This is not vision. I just went to the side of that generator and all of a sudden, I saw a being standing and he shouted at me get back what spontaneously I began to pray in tongues and that was it somebody that is physical just like a student just disappeared went like that. that's when I said this is serious this one this is serious so we are not alone this is serious I have met spirits I have met devils sometimes you just see me preaching and do my mad thing I can just keep quiet and start rebuking. I don't have to tell you everything I'm seeing. But you see, let me tell you. Everywhere believers are gathered, all kinds of things happen. Some of us, there are things that follow you. What do you think happens to you when you are in the room and you keep looking back? You know there is someone. You are not lying. Your spirit knows you are not alone. You are sleeping and you, you are just afraid for reasons you can't explain. You are an adult, so you are not supposed to be afraid. The spirit of a man is powerful. The spirit of a man is like an antenna. You can pick something. You may not explain it, but you can pick it. You can be lying down and know that death is around. What is There is death. This is not just discernment. The human spirit, even animals, souls, animals can start barking. There are all kinds of scientific explanations. 
before any hurricane the animals run it's only men that remain there and die like chickens birds relocate the fishes relocate only men remain there and we die like chickens how demons operate right how do they operate what is the system of operation in a demonic kingdom what what is the basis how do they operate what has made them so powerful like this what has made them so powerful that from Asia to the US to the UK to the Middle East to Africa it looks like there are networks of operation that keep men in a common captivity same problem regardless of location what sort of orderly civilization is that that they can destroy the lives of people from villages to towns to cities and all of that we have not been able to build a network that has covered the whole world like that they can be strong in regions yet the devil has built an arsenal that for as long as you are upon the face of this earth there is a system of reaching you there are three main ways three main ways that demons and satan listen carefully there are three main ways that demons and satan have access to all men including believers only three from the authority of scripture there are only three ways number one write it down covenants number one covenants hmm. covenants let's talk about it please look up you can get my teaching the altar of prayer listen to it it will bless you covenants for most of us all we know about covenants is just the old and the new testament that um you know the old testament a foreshadow of the new and the new and so on and so forth as wonderful as that is that is not the only idea about covenants write this down please a covenant is a system of authorization a covenant is a system of authorization between two or more people a covenant is a system of authorization between two or more people ratified by the mystery of blood ratified by or with whichever the mystery of blood with mutual advantages if kept with mutual advantages if kept and severe consequences if violated with mutual advantages if kept and severe consequences if violated that's a covenant a system of agreement a system of authorization between two or more people or persons it's possible that it, it can be a covenant between a spirit being are we together now that the basis of that covenant that is usually ratified by blood is to create a system where there is mutual benefit where the terms well defined the well-defined terms of that covenant are kept and then with severe consequences listen the concept of covenant predates old and new testament you have to understand this the concept of covenant predates old and new testament A system of agreement you read Genesis 1 you see a lot of things that God did there are we together and that God signified lights to do certain things to the earth are we together now and they've seen being in obedience there is a system a covenant with the earth 
that the earth will produce after its kind you don't sow mango and reap banana under no condition are we together if you sow mango you don't have to tell the earth earth may is mango i sow no you just plant mango and it will reap after its kind very accurately noah read an altar in genesis chapter 8 and the bible tells us that god smelled a sweet savour and god made a covenant of seed time and harvest signified with the rainbow is that true many other covenants happen listen there are personal covenants there are territorial covenants it's not just a covenant of old and new testament in the bible people had personal covenants with god very personal covenants lord let us agree that this level of assistance comes to me and if you do this to me some of the covenants had one time conditions and benefits after it, it was gone there were covenants in the bible that the bible will tell you this is for an everlasting covenant everlasting are we together now yes so there are all kinds of covenants an agreement between two or more people that has mutual benefits are we together if obeyed if complied and has a disaster many families africa as a continent is amazing is amazing how with the number of churches there are more churches than there are companies in africa yet the economy has not grown yet many things have not happened our soil is the most productive of all soils in all the seven continents yet in the midst of it israel israel unbelievers who don't love god they farm on top of mountains and yet they export food and we eat it here those while they are farming they are insulting god yet there is a covenant upon their land that commits God to bless them they can talk nonsense against the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob you would think God will arise in his fury and curse them how about the Ishmaelites the covenant with Abraham that Ishmael became a partaker of forget the fact that he was a child born out of I don't know what he was illegitimate or whatever it is still covenant because remember when Ishmael was crying and Hagar was crying heaven had only the voice of Ishmael and God came to the rescue because of Ishmael and that Abrahamic blessing is still at work till today strangely look at the Middle East a small nation with oil that is greater than that of Nigeria very pockets of nations yet their economy in strange way is not normal my brother my sister it's not normal are we together the first system of authorization that we know on earth that authorizes both god and more importantly for our discussion tonight demon spirits is covenant i will take out time to explain all those ones number two write it down the second system of authorization is disobedience 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 is a force in the spirit just like obedience is a force disobedience is a force it can do things obedience is a force it can make things happen Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1 the Bible says and it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I command thee this day it says that the Lord thy God will set thee on high there is a condition above all the nations of the earth verse 2 and all these blessings will pursue you and overtake you are we together now if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord verse 3 begins to list the blessings blessed shall thou be in the city blessed shall thou be in the field blessed shall be your needing trough the fruit of your body are you seeing it there now obedience for the blessing of the fruit of your body 
and the fruit of your ground the fruit of your cattle the increase of this and that and that go to verse 13 and the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail thou shalt be above only and thou shalt not be beneath if thou shalt hearken if thou shalt hearken to the commands of the Lord and all of that you now begin to read from verse 14 read down it says but if you do not hearken this list of causes shall come upon you he said and shall not go aside we read it down and then it tells you the list of many bad things let's see a few of them uh let's try 16 cause shall thou be in the city are you seeing the opposite now who is speaking god cause shall thou be in the field 17 cause shall be thy basket a man had a dream he was holding three baskets on his head you call that breakthrough but Joseph said, ah, this dream means in three days, the beds that you will be hanged. If you saw yourself with basket with food in the dream, would you get up and dance? But a basket can be cursed. The guy was having three baskets and the beds came and ate it. Here's Joseph's interpretation in three days. The Pharaoh will finally conclude on you. They are going to catch you. They will hang you and the beds will eat your flesh cause shall be thy basket and thy store let's read to 20 and we'll stop there cause shall be the fruit of your body intelligent people what is the fruit of your body talk to me what is the fruit of your body are you seeing that now and the fruit of your land the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep 19 cause shall thou be when thou come in whether in America or Nigeria cause shall thou be when thou go out in case you think the problem is with me. <laughs> the Lord shall send upon thee cursing vexation families rebuke in all that thou settest thy hands for to do until thou be destroyed and until thou perish how fast because of the wickedness of thy doings whereby thou hast forsaken me just leave it there disobedience the blood of Jesus does not give authorization or it does not excuse the, the force of disobedience is still at work the same way the force of obedience is still at work are we together the Bible says a cause causeless shall not stand but a cause that has a cause shall stand This is a description of many lives and many families although we will not admit it but it's very clear that this is a description of many lives and many destinies obedience obedience disobedience i hope you know that there is a spirit that works in men to make them disobey because satan knows that until you are assisted by a spirit you can't disobey sufficient to allow him have access access to your life consistent disobedience is being empowered by a spirit there is a spirit that works you can't call let me tell you human beings are not so bad when somebody walks in disobedience and rebellion perpetually there is a spirit that assists you authorization number three the third authorization is ignorance 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 Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 ignorance these are the tripartite systems the systems the access the only access points that Satan has Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 let me quote it it says having their understanding darkened then it says alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them so what is the situation here having their understanding darkened there is no understanding then it says as a result being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them it said because of the blindness of their heart that means a man who is in ignorance a woman who is in ignorance or a state of insufficient understanding is a gate pass to Satan 
and his demons to come and destroy and shred your life into pieces let me tell you this much more than causes uh, and covenants much more than disobedience this is where many well-meaning people come to. they have worked well to break causes in their lives they have worked well to receive grace for obedience but they have not obtained grace for spiritual intelligence to know what to do psalms 82 verse 5 psalms 82 and verse 5 they know not neither will they understand they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness are you seeing that now and all the foundations of the earth are out of course verse 6 says have i not said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high verse 7 says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes ignorance not knowing what to do the bible says jesus himself knew what to do these three access points listen all the chaos you see in the world is predicated upon this tree a covenant that has authorized satan to come into lives and families on a legal basis and let me tell you this maybe next week i will explain to you how they individually work but let me give you a little appetizer covenants are not casted you don't cast and in the name of jesus i cast that covenant no this is where we mock ourselves come promise look at this if promise god forbid just an example right if promise is a thief and this is my phone watch this and promise wants to quickly pick the phone and run away if he hears my footsteps coming what will he do he will run because he's a thief are we together but if promise gave somebody money who claimed that this phone is his own and promise wants to pick it what do you think will happen if he sees me coming a legal transaction occurred he's not going to run he will pick it and i say leave my phone he say what is that it has to take another person to come and settle us i can't push him and say go away there must be a legal basis of proving that the phone is mine the spirits that buffet our families have accessed our families through covenants they are not illegal occupants they were covenanted intentionally our fathers called them for assistance come and help us in the time of war come and help us and they say what is the agreement the agreement is that all our children will serve you and then some missionaries just flew from from america and just came and died of malaria is it malaria that really killed them come on africa talk to me is it malaria that really killed them no sir let's be wise it can't be malaria they had the gospel of salvation but the missionaries did not know the gospel of the kingdom are we together now the gospel of salvation a revelation of the father's love through the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus and that's what they came to do and all of a sudden they saw a shrine and said destroy it and leave it and they just kicked the pot and the missionary died two days later are we together now some of us carried certain pots and certain instruments of covenant and destroyed them and believed that we are free they say now everything is destroyed everybody just give thanks and go and they laugh at you from the realm of the spirit the bible says that when a strong man comes to a house and lays claim of a possession he says it will take one greater than he to come and dislodge him and collect those possessions is that true this is what we do not understand there are legal manifestations for as long let me tell you even your salvation did not stop you from looking like your biological father you didn't get born again and suddenly changed to look like an angel in spite of your being born again they can still see you and say uh -uh, are you so 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 son that blood that genetics is still in force if you looked at jesus and you looked at mary you will know ah is this your mother i say yes now in the flesh are we together that was the reason why 
when Jesus resurrected and when John saw him in Revelation, John could not recognize him. On earth, they could recognize him. Of course, this is Mary's son. No, it was not a thing of controversy. But now they saw him in a radiance. They said, what is this now? Who is this one? Covenants have destroyed us. The north has covenants. Listen carefully. The south has covenants. The east has covenants. Listen carefully, brothers and sisters. Northern and hear me, beloved brothers and sisters. We are not just lazy for nothing. There is a spirit making it happen. Are we together now? I don't mean to be sarcastic. Easterners, when they say you love money so much, it's not an insult. There is a spirit responsible for that thing. Southerners, the same thing. All of us were like that. If you see any man that is not affected by those things, he has stepped into another dimension that has corrected it. That's the goal of this series. To help you tap into something that all of a sudden will set you free and you will rise and your children will say, Daddy, we used to hear that people who come from this place, they are like this. And he says, Son, something happened on the way. Before you were born, there was a long story. I attended Koinonia and something happened. Some things were corrected once and for all. Once and for all. There is an ordinance in the spirit that without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. When the father himself wanted to redeem men, he could not violate that. He couldn't save man with a divine proclamation. After all, it was his own creation. He could say, man, I declare you free. Woman, I declare you free. That's it. And it would have been over. However, the word didn't come as a spirit to say, oh yeah, quickly nail me, let me die. He became a child and grew because if you must function in this kingdom, aside from Adam and Eve, you must grow. Whoever comes and appears must return back. Are we together? Let me tell you, anybody that does not grow in this kingdom cannot stay more than a certain period of time. You have to leave. That's why when angels come in the bodies of men, they cannot stay in their physical body for long. They must translate. The same way, if you are out of your body in a vision or in a, a, a supernatural experience, there is a time lapse that you must return back to your body. Otherwise, if you don't, your spirit will not be able to return back again. Occultists will tell you this. Those who have visionary encounters will tell you there were prophets who were in the spirit having encounters. They returned back and they were sick. They were sick for many days because they were almost losing it. Look at people who came back from the dead. The first thing is give them food. Read your Bible. When people came back to life, Jesus said, go and get food and give them because they would be so weak. Their spirit had separated for a long time. If they don't give them food, the spirit will go back. Is God helping us to understand? Covenants. 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 Our fathers innocently came. And this is what they told them. Just give your life to Jesus Christ. And the moment you do it, everything is gone. Now, brothers and sisters, I have taught you two dimensions of operating in the kingdom. There is the prophetic dimension of the speakings of God. There is the prophetic dimension of the word. Realities from God's standpoint. And there is the experience of that reality. Are we together? In the eye of God, there should be nobody in Shika right now. In the mind of God, no doctor should have a job praying for the sick. Are we together? Because none, no inhabitant in the same Zion will say, I am sick. But he didn't tell you what is the dynamics that will keep them healthy. He just told you they would, say, they would not say, I am sick. Are we together? But you go to Shika now and see people who are sick. That does not mean God lied. There is something we don't understand. In the mind of God, nobody should go to hell again. Right from when Jesus resurrected. Talk to me. Are there still people going to hell? Who created the hell? Satan? No! God is still watching them. In the mind of God, there is enough supply by the power of the Holy Spirit. But there are children still crying in Sudan today. 
these children are crying in sudan they are crying until they get to a state of coma yet god is still sitting on his throne can't he get up where was the bread that the angel sent that came and fed israel be careful when you just assume that some things are done if god is to show mercy just like that the first is to go to sudan and help those children first before he comes to you we make costly assumptions i'm all right everything is okay with me and the devil says i like this generation you just continue and sometimes you know we are very deceived because the moment our hands touch money most people think they are delivered because they have money the moment you have financial resources because you see in this our world is driven by economy the moment you have money there are many things you can do with money money is also a force are we together with money you can build a house with money you can travel for a medical trip with so because of that they don't sense the the weight of the spiritual consequences and so because of the abundance of financial resources they will tell you i'm all right you keep watching you will start seeing things that money cannot do and money cannot buy they told you the blessings that this covenant will bring but they didn't tell you the consequences that follow when they, they are violated all of a sudden your innocent father and mother just got up and said as for me and my family i will serve the lord and although the altars and those who did them are gone but the altars and the covenant still stand what did you say you would do you will not serve these idols again yes i will serve jehovah the god of heaven all right on legal terms we bring before the heavenly council the report this was the agreement the realm of the spirit is a legal realm hear what i'm teaching you the realm of the spirit is a legal realm when abel died the blood of abel could not kill cain automatically it had to bring a petition why didn't cain just die immediately no the soul that sins he shall die so when abel died why didn't his blood just no 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 the blood had to cry before god god had to summon cain cain there is a case before you here the blood is the witness in the tabernacle of heaven what of the redemption of men jesus after dying here had to carry the blood to the tabernacle father here is the blood i have brought and the father said that's correct now put that blood upon the tabernacle you see these are the like the justice systems of the kingdom so these spirits can stand and say look this is it it's an agreement it's on this many of you think that when the demons present this to god god will say no i died already my blood is speaking no if that were so then you didn't need to confess jesus to be saved the blood that was shed should just save you automatically why did you need to come and verbalize and enter into that personal agreement for it to work for you there are strong reasons and there are cases you must present and these spirits by themselves not even jesus christ overrode them he went through the required system now he has become the head of principalities he didn't cancel them he is the head of all of them they are still there he has only risen above them it's in your bible is god helping us we are going to pray these are truths that i have seen why is it that regardless of the blood of jesus there are still people today you go to the village go to zaria city and someone will sit down and concoct a charm for you and you will carry that charm and go and do something and it will work and god is still there on his throne watching how many people have used divination to do business and they prospered part of their charm made you go to their shop and you bought you bought something and you say from today i'll start buying eggs from you and yet there is a horn hanging in front of that shop and the day you were angry at the man you still went back again praying in tongues while you are going to go and buy the eggs
terrorists sit down and make enchantments in the realm of the spirit and they go and their agenda is achieved no power stops them not military might not anything brothers and sisters something is wrong we must understand the power we have trivialized covenants too much we have trivialized it i'm not planting fear remember this only part one don't stop here if you stop here you are being greatly destroyed because the just this teaching alone will produce a lot of imbalance in your life until you hear the other versions so you don't stop at what you have heard now i always balance my teaching i'm opening your eyes tonight to the reality of these truths to say they are not real is flattery my life refused to rise until i address these things hallelujah my grandfather was a reverend he lived and died serving god they were part of those who hosted the missionaries the early missionaries that came to the north you would think that would change my life automatically it didn't oh. it didn't let me ask you a question you look at this place and you see people sitting outside i was so touched regardless of the rain beating people here and the discomfort many of them patiently stood at the window and everything finished and they went to drop their chairs and sit down is that normal for people to do do you think people have that time to encode what, what is what is the big deal about me no it's more than what your eyes see the same way you can prepare a table and call guests and nobody comes is in the bible prepare the table somebody said i just married my wife please i need to spend time with her and what happens there i just built a house and jesus said okay go and compel them it's called anakazu the power that compels are we together that a man can do business with god and a covenant can empower a man to rise in a strange way I read a documentary about a niche, a particular nation in Middle East, Ejimi. Their hair is five meters long. Five meters. All of them, not just one old person. That's how they are. Five meters long. Long hair like that. No matter who you are. Once you are a lady and you are born there, you must have that long hair. It's not normal. The same way people get they give birth to you um i i schooled somewhere years ago where if you gave birth to a child before you start breastfeeding the child you would touch alcohol with your finger and put it in the child's mouth you will first taste it before breast milk and you'll be wondering why the child will will not be able to do anything wrong with him i'm not insulting cultures we are all in this this is africa what of some of you before you get married they tie black ropes on trees and tell you to dance around them you're in a hurry to marry and you don't know what happened you are just dancing how long they just dance and they do all kinds of things they send spirits with you and they tell you that the purpose of that thing is to send spirits to protect you it may be well-being and then you just look and say i don't want any nonsense spirit to protect me and all of a sudden you enter your room in the night and a dirty slap on your face you don't see the hand but you know it's physical and then you start seeing images of grandfather grandmother one ancestor that has gone some of you may even be your physical parents notice what happens when you run back to tell your parents that dream you just tell them i saw a man with a mark on his face he told me to come to him your father will keep quiet and look at your mother and say it's all right they'll say he's back home is back because they know they know exactly what it means is the reason why we don't succeed look at the amount of well-meaning nigerians who never succeed they go through the rigors of the 364 system and hold their certificate run to abuja no way run to Jos, run to lagos go abroad no way and then they finally go to some of these countries as graduates with mscs and all they are doing is scrubbing toilets and then another person encounters comes into a ministry as a territory that has a covenant with god and just enters that ministry and in two months things change in his life 
and the person is wondering what happened and for that two months maybe the man of God has not even been around you step into another thing the ark of Obed Edom remember the ark of God and Dagon until the ark came Dagon was always standing but when they dropped Dagon side by side they found out by the next day that Dagon fell face forward something will fall in your life and, and, and you will know that something has fallen I don't want to go ahead of myself you can always know when the deliverance power of God has worked the simple litmus test is strange results the moment results begin to come unhindered is a sign that something has given way but except that power comes you can stand like this and it will block you almost forever some of you are moving physically but you are bound let me show you one scripture and then we'll pray isaiah 61 let's just find somewhere to stop tonight isaiah 61 the spirit of the lord is upon me who is speaking who is speaking please because the lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek now look at the categories of people jesus was sent to he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to who the captives and the opening of prison that means there are physical people who are walking on two legs but in the realm of the spirit they are prisoners you are moving physically but in the realm of the spirit you are in the same spot and very soon your life will show you you are in the same spot all your achievements will reduce back and you will see that after 10 years you are in the same spot You're, you are increasing in education you are increasing in business you are increasing in everything but your result is remaining there there is captivity the bible calls them lawful captives lawful captives who is a lawful captive he was sent in captivity legally 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 brothers and sisters i wish i didn't have to be the one telling you this but it's a truth i have to tell you some of you seated here looking at me right now hearing me online as i speak to you now your families are in need of deliverance as individuals you are in need of deliverance You are in need of the power of God. Not a temporary deliverance. I'm going to be teaching you next week that it is possible to have a temporary deliverance. Yes, it is. It is very possible because the Bible says that I hold the keys of David and I can open a door that no one can shut. That means there are doors you can open and can be shut again. Is it in your Bible? That the doors will be open day and night and shall not be shut. Meaning if it's open and when your destiny helpers are coming, it's shut. They have not, they go back. The doors can open and can shut. But there is something that can keep them open. That's only the time you receive the forces of the Gentiles. Because sometimes the door will open and you leave the man of God. But before the Gentiles come, the door has been closed. But there is a mystery that I will teach you. It's called the key of David. And the Bible says that when a man possesses that key, you can open a door and leave it open. And no power will shut it. I saw this in my life. That's why you can go to any city and favor still follows you. Because it's a master key. It's the key of David. Halagbara You are the mighty God Hey, let's you are the glorious God. Alakara. You are the mighty God. Hey, la glorious You are the glorious Alakara. There are men who are free sit down but the works of their hands are not free as individuals they will prosper but get into anything it will fail there are pastors who are free but their churches are in captivity 
as a person you are not hungry but your church will never rise there are people who only regional doors open you see the earth has six regions i will teach you this there are six regions of the earth six the number of man the earth has he given to man there are six regions of operation on this earth and if it is not open to you you will know there are regions you go to that you know the door is closed there are northern people who can never go to the south and prevail you can have crowds here you go to the south and you see four five people you come back to your place of territory and the door is open but when the gates are open the bible says talking about the prisoner the jailer he said all doors open all not some not some all doors open all doors open all doors open you will thank me many of you are you are uncomfortable with what i'm teaching you now but i promise you what will become of your life you will be too grateful to keep quiet you will say apostle thank you sir thank you. so this is the key it will work like fire if you understand what i'm teaching you there is no devil that can put this ministry down the mysteries that surround this ministry are too many let me tell you it's not because the devil cannot come and fight uh -uh. even in the sleep there is something alive it was programmed already it's a system of victory he said now thanks be to god who always causes us to triumph there are systems in the kingdom that when you engage by the grace of god and with all humility there is no region i've gone to that they don't like me because you see there is a key it is not normal for people like that they like you today somebody hates you badly tomorrow somewhere Deliverance. i go to cities that are supposed to be very poor cities um, you ask the protocol they travel with me and sometimes I'm sitting at the airport looking at people and here's someone coming to me apostle here is this this is this this is and I'm saying God what are you doing what is all this there's no you can't undo it when that yoke is lifted off your shoulder you will know how light life can be you will know that that burden was not God that put it there the Bible says the yoke the burden those things are heavy it says my yoke is easy and my body is light hardship is bread is brought about by something There's something sitting on our destinies making a shipwreck of our destinies shipwreck of our lives you call them coincidences but they are programmed programmed by altars programmed by ignorance that's why God sent me to bring this message for now it's sufficient for you to know at least I've begun to give you answers I have not given you the whole answer but you can go back now knowing that so this is what is happening this is why after koinonia I go back home and my parents quarrel me so it's a reaction of a spirit knowing that salvation is coming I now see why when I finish praying and fasting everybody annoys me the day I say I want to fast that's the day even my best friends fast fight me it's not about the best friends they are monitoring day and night for when salvation will come the operation of familiar spirits we'll talk about that next week the spirits that grow with men and grow with territories the any trace of revival that they see coming there is an attack they discredit the people who try to bring it that's why everybody that is anointed truly to bless people is greatly persecuted greatly hated for a very long time before the truth comes you know why because these dark powers will make men hate you you are coming to cause men to rise there are some of your dear beloved loved ones who may not exactly like me it's not true there's no man who doesn't like me there are spirits there are yokes so now if this lady goes for koinonia she will come back with a revelation and the 150 years captivity in this family is about to go no way let's find a way let's make her discouraged all of a sudden you find out i don't even want to go to this koinonia again and the day that your word comes that's the day you are not around listen I have studied extensively because I don't want to teach people a lie and I don't want to mislead people and confuse them 
I love you too much. I have studied why many people don't rise in life. And I'm telling you, this is the explanation. It's not like you are so dull. Most of these scientific explanations are not there. I didn't always have favor in my life. Many men of God will not open up and tell you the truth. It wasn't always like this. I knew the forces that gave way. But when they gave way, I knew the difference. Goodness. Your life will change, my brother, my sister. It will surprise you. How do I know I'm under captivity? Look at the hardship in your life. Look at everything. When results that should happen don't happen, something stopped it. Look at this. Promise walk and come. Come. He's supposed to walk normally because nothing should stop him. Now you try to come. Try to hold him. Try to drag him at the back while he's coming. Come, promise. Are you seeing? Ordinarily, he's supposed to have arrived by now. But he's doing... You can't see what is at his back. Him too, he can't see it. But something is holding him. This is your destiny. By now, there are things that should have happened. You see it in your dreams. That you are, you are 10 years behind in what God has told you. Even in ministry. You know that at th this is the level of anointing I should be walking in. This is the level of favor. You, you see it in your dream. But when you wake up, try coming. And the yokes say, no way, you are not going. We held your father. Oh, your father was a pastor. We held him till we killed him. Don't you think we'll let you go? But the Lord sent me by fire and by an anointing that in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, that everything sitting on anyone's destiny must drop down tonight. That's how my destiny was. I saw it happen to my family. I saw it happen to well-meaning people. I saw it happen within the territory of my growth. No one could ever do anything nice. Today, build a house at 25 and see how people will insult you. Where did you get money from? You have started doing something that is fetish. You are a demon. You are this. Come by 21 years old and say, look, God has given me grace. So look at the can, look at the house. They will first step back and say, how old are you? 21 sit down something is wrong we have been so held back we don't even know what speed looks like again come promise he's been held back this is you enter your new level in ministry you are standing there enter your new level ha. customers want to come and something diverts them they don't even know why they hate you your shop is like is like mara bitter water You just carry anointing oil and pour it there and the demons laugh say you you think that we are stupid people and you close that shop and do a night vigil ba, 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 ba. by morning the small five minutes sleep here the demons come again to tell you you just wasted your time oh, there are mysteries in this kingdom it is not like what you are doing is wrong if you put yam in an attempt to make fried rice is yam needed for fried rice but yam is food Many of us are just combining any spiritual thing. Blood of Jesus, fire, fast yet, this, anything. You must walk circumspectly. There is a formula for real deliverance. Watch this. All of a sudden, this is a strong man holding this guy. And all of a sudden, through the greatness of thy power. Watch this. Something breaks this. For 10 years, and in one month, this guy just runs. Even him, he's surprised. He said, no, 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 this is not normal. Why are the helpers suddenly coming? Where have you been? I wanted to come to you once and again, but Satan. Listen, I wonder where the people that blessed me today were when I was crying and said, Lord, send me help. I have loved you. I thought just prayer like that is what will solve the problem. Ah, don't miss, please, don't miss this. By the time we get to part three, I'm going to show you the mystery of the three witnesses. That on earth there are three that bear witness. In heaven there are three that bear witness. Are we together now? I will show you how to engage with spiritual intelligence. Many of you will be surprised. I'm teaching you something that has worked in my own life. I'm 
so all of a sudden you find out that your life becomes an unending wonder somebody who should not bless you just comes to bless you a door that should not open just opens as a pastor all of a sudden members start coming from everywhere they start bringing you invitation please can you come there can you come there and you are wondering whereas you can be anointed and you sit down six months nobody is placing a demand on your grace they can say man of god you are so anointed and they leave you like that oh you are such a great doctor every time good things are coming they leave you many of your uncles will come home and say hey and i just gave five people jobs you are a graduate i just remembered he didn't just forget he was made to forget because in the spirit there is something called the book of remembrance if that book is not open you will waste your time on earth i'm showing you mysteries my brother my sister if you understand what i'm teaching you you may just look a little controversial but your results will astonish you you will triumph from one level of success to the other some of you I, and I, i'm not saying you should do it but i got to a realm where god will send my account number to people in a dream people are sleeping and god is sending account number sending this blessing in koinonia 70 percent of this ministry is run and funded by people i don't know most of them mysteriously by the finger of god i would have died like a chicken with yokes upon my head imagine the captivity i would have put you inside i would have carried my yoke and curses and brought upon your life and you find out that you are coming here and your life is not moving you go to somewhere and they will tell you that guy this man of god he is the cause for your failure they are not exactly lying they are saying something that is coming from him is what is adding to your fight that's why you find out that people listen carefully look at look at what is happening are you seeing that now listen my brother my sister let me tell you this we're going to pray but I want you in this month of July, please give your destiny your attention. Just settle down. Are we together now? There are lots of imbalances in this subject. I've studied it. I will balance it for you. Many of us have gotten things. You've gotten it here and there, but there's imbalance on both sides. My assignment is to create a very sound and balanced view, but it is enough for you to know tonight that if your life is not experiencing the liberty the word of god says you are still in mount zion but you are far from your possession until there is real deliverance real deliverance i have prayed for pastors i have prayed for leaders i have prayed for individuals and i have watched their lives shift in remarkable ways i remember some years ago that's why we always pray for those getting married before they get married do you know why i pray for them it's not necessarily because maybe i'm trying to show that i'm the most anointed person it's not it's not pride at all i'm just trying to help them over 80 percent of the people are pray you see a nice wife and her husband just come oh both of you are getting married when in two weeks may god bless you okay let me pray for you i barely lift my hand and starts manifesting that's the spirit keeping quiet when you put a ring you are putting a ring for many people and the spirit will say congratulations finally you have welcomed me to your house because marriage is a covenant that's why you will find out that the man will behave well it's not that he's behaving well the spirit leaves him just go to the marriage and all of a sudden the moment you get married you will see the old him come the smoker arises again the drunkard and you turn and say i thought you were a sweetheart and the guy gives you a dirty slap it's not him he's not alone the, the, the solution is not divorce find where real power is genuine raw power and fire the apex of the power of god is shown in deliverance a dislodging of light over darkness that somebody can walk away free and all of a sudden a man that used to be a terrible man just changes i told you that nobody is intrinsically bad 
all these drunkards you see around all these liars there is a spirit and the spirit does not go by counseling okay let's counsel young man be nice eh? and he say yes mommy make sure you are nice don't do anything don't steal again say, i will never steal you even cry you say thank you you are my boy <laughs> the spirit is outside waiting as soon as the guy comes i will show you the access points he will just step in and all of a sudden that thief wakes up in the night notice how they steal no matter where you hide it the spirit will tell them where it is they don't know it's not that the spirit speaks to them it leads them to where it is you hide money under the carpet he will just stand and look and roll the carpet he didn't just roll it the spirit are we together my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by. I used to stay in area BZ in the, the, the in Ebu there. I remember that night, the night I was tired and I was fed up. Oppression left, right, and center. I said, What is this? Every time it is night, I start becoming afraid because I and my own you see it's a terrible thing for your eyes to be open sometimes because my own I don't see visions as I'm watching you like that that's how they enter they don't knock they don't open the curtain they just come in in rows like that and there's me lying down and my goodness those spirits press me they choke me I'm shouting Jesus nothing is happening once it's evening like that do you know to a point that I don't sleep no matter how big the bed is I will lie down at the edge of the bed so that whatever happens I will try to push myself to fall I know what oppression is it's only a man that loves you that will open up his car like this and tell you the truth are you hearing what I'm telling you sometimes I can sit down I'm hearing two people talking in the physical but to wake up like it's happening to many of you once you go to bed time to wake up is a struggle you will try to wake up something is you will try and lay down you wake up physically and you can't tell anybody anything for how long will that remain don't you know that that is the administration of death i'm about to give you a job and all of a sudden you go to bed and here comes a stranger whether it's a man or a woman a boy or girl come sometimes to sleep with you you can even wake up sometimes physically and know that something has happened and you go to the same office and they say sorry leave this place a lecturer said i will help you let's look at the course you get up have you not seen this happen we are not honest enough that's why god will not you see it is when you are honest and open it's not an embarrassment my brother my sister if i'm not ashamed of telling you my own experience be sincere god has given me a reputation today to the body these messages are going very far if i'm looking at my ego i will not tell you what i'm telling you now i will just summarize it and round up and tell you i was always fine i'm saying this to comfort people that if the apostle you can admire today the devil did not even spare him then you better listen to what he's saying otherwise your pride will punish you again and again i'm going to be teaching you the dynamics but i remember that night i got tired and fed up I pray someone will get to that stage where you are tired and say, Lord, this can't continue. It can't continue again. I remember going to cry before God. I prayed that time we used to have long tennis court. I cried before God that night. I said, Lord, you have revealed this thing about my destiny. You have to help me. And the Lord showed me some of the things I'll be showing you now. When I found the light, brothers and sisters, it was raining. I ran from that place I ran to BZ and I stood outside in front of my room and I begged the spirits to come I didn't cast them out I begged them to come and if you find them anywhere beg them to come if I were lying you would have seen the result in ministry because they will hijack anything that can be hijacked are we together i remember when god started talking to me about finances I, I told you when i was praying and all of a sudden my zinc just opened and i saw a strange being 
like like um you know how a dinosaur is but the eyes one eye was like the normal human head and the tail had his own life you could disconnect it and he was looking at me with fire and with fury and he just said so you think you can bring god's people into abundance end of discussion i said so this is it this is the spirit that has held the financial destiny of territories of nations regardless of what you study regardless of what you do you will walk hard and eat like an elephant there is a force that is sitting but your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by one more time my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by i like you to pair yourselves into three find someone who is serious anybody who is not praying leave him alone pair yourselves into three 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 and you are going to for the next two or three minutes i like you to blast in tongues non-stop this month of july we are declaring war over the gates of darkness lift your voice and pray that a threefold cord cannot be easily broken Pray, Koidonia. Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. Shabara to koto shepegete. Enteke de katamara kato shabara. Lord, the gates must open. Lord, my destiny must be revived. My spiritual life must be revived. My finances, my family, arise, O God of heaven. Shabadakata, Shabadakata, Lakata Kata Kata, my ministry. It's time to break forth on the left, on the right. Shake it up, Arakoto Shobrata. Pray, pray, pray. Era ma sabara samara koto sobes la kata pakora sadaba la kash ente kato sami abalagos Hallelujah. 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 
you are going to pray you are still holding the hand of the person father enough is enough what kept my father kept my mother lord i come by the message of god it must break in my life lift your voice and cry lift your voice and cry lord enough is enough enough of failure enough of poverty enough of burying my loved ones something has to break loose enough of struggling ministry enough of struggling my spiritual life pray 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 let fire burn in this place let fire burn in this place let fire burn in this place pray hallelujah listen listen let this month be a month of intense prayer listen listen let me teach you something when you are teaching on spiritual warfare it is important to be extremely prayerful because you are touching the very nerve of the realm of the spirit listen i'm teaching you spiritual intelligence Don't let food cheat you in this season. Because it's not a one-time thing that you are doing this night. I'm going to give you an assignment now. Let me tell you, this month, something must break open. I, I came angry. This mystery, understand it once and for all and be free. Hallelujah. Right. I want to give you an assignment now. Those under the anointing, just guide them. Do you believe in night prayers? Do you pray in the night? If I give you an assignment, will you do it? Anybody? I want to, I want to, I want to plug you into a deep, deep mystery. It's not just night prayer. 
you just listen the night time is a mystery in the realm of the spirit 24 hour is counted from night to morning not morning till night in the physical we count our day from morning to night in the realm of the spirit it is on the evening and the morning a day starts officially in the night not in the morning are we together and the second mystery you need to know is that the night time is likened to a woman who is ready to be pregnant are we together now the night time is like a woman who is ready to receive seed that's why people die in the night somebody that could survive in the day once it gets to the night they start looking at you and by night they are gone if you can be obedient to do what i'm telling you my brother my sister you'll be surprised just it won't it won't be long just 15 minutes can you do that every night huh? from this night till we finish this series who will do it 15 minutes anytime 12 o'clock one o'clock whatever just try to make sure you will see how the devil will fight you with sleep all of a sudden 11 30 you are feeling as if no matter what you need to do tell the devil you're a liar blast in tongues huh you can play one koinonia message if you want anyone at all and blast in tongues for that 15 minutes and i want you to pray are you getting what i'm saying cry that by the mercy of god i know i've not taught you on the mystery of mercy i'm going to when i teach you on deliverance i will now teach you on the forces of deliverance one of it is the mystery of mercy if mercy does not visit you there can be deliverance thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion for the time to favor her yet the set time don't miss this series but for now i like you to pray don't be careless you don't have don't do it like a ritual do it with revelation this is not some occultic ritualistic thing but please i beg you in the name of the lord discipline yourself to do this and many of you will see what will happen from this night if you can just get up if you have a roommate explain to the roommate say please don't be angry if you hear me praying you don't have to pray and harass people and disturb people so that they don't arrest you but i like you to pray find a message sit down that's why god gave you a phone put all of these things please hear what i'm telling you just do it every day non-stop you can wake yourselves are we together you can wake up and wake someone else do this thing every night you won't do it forever just do it from now i promise you from now before friday even if you have been praying in the night before just do what i'm asking you to do ah! many of you the first one or two nights you will see the visions you will see those spirits will rise up with anger who is doing this who is touching a nerve you will see it in your dreams don't be discouraged some of you as you pray you will see dreams where they are oppressing you it's a sign that this thing you are doing is don't worry about whatever you see let me give you a side effect some of you will get up in the morning your loved ones will fight you this coming week like never before doors will seem to close don't mind it it's a reaction i'm giving you this because you will be surprised that it is by that time you'll find out that your roommate will annoy you something will annoy you. just take out time do what i'm asking you to do take your eyes away and pray my destiny lord open it up my destiny some of you will have dreams where you will be taken back to even when your parents were small and god will start showing you the movie this is it and you'll get up and say so this is why favor is closed are you going to do this may the grace come upon you may the grace it takes discipline but i pray that you will be charged like enough to do this do you know that was what i was doing every night i didn't know i didn't know that's what the spirit of god was doing and then light just broke and god showed me something i said this is it this is it Are we together?
So take out time. Pray. Maybe just 15 minutes. God grants you grace. You can push 30 minutes. Why not? 15 minutes is fair for everybody. If you are born again and you can't pray for 15 minutes, something is really wrong with your spirit, man. No matter if you minus 15 minutes from your sleep time, it shouldn't affect you at all. Except the spirit of slumber. You see, all these various spirits, you have to deal with them. Manage yourself. Be wise. Don't go and sleep in a place that will not allow you not to pray. Be serious. Are we together? Those of you who are staying in the campus, if God grants you grace, you can walk out, stroll out. Do so in groups because of our society now. Don't just sit down. You have your house, just pray. You don't have to shout and disturb people. But just do that. Be sensitive with your notebook. Be sensitive with your phone or whatever because of the extreme revelations. Fire will fall from heaven. And God will just say, this is why the five people in your family don't have children. This is it. Then the secret was revealed unto Daniel. It was in a night time. Daniel knew why he told the king, wait. Oh king, night is coming. Be patient. When it was night, he went to pray. And the secret was revealed to Daniel. Father, grant us grace in this spiritual exercise. Let everyone who is connected to this ministry in whatever part of the world, those following the grace to be involved in this fully in the name of jesus let it be supplied to you and i pray by the power of the holy spirit that once and for all through this series god will judge the yokes that keep you and your family down forever in the name of jesus wave your hands and give jesus praise we have to close now hallelujah praise the lord let me do the altar call now I want to invite very passionately please listen let's minimize distraction I want to invite those who are saying man of God you just spoke about my family you just spoke about my life and my destiny I know first and foremost that I need Jesus my first deliverance tonight is from the power of Satan the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son. You are saying, man of God, I'm tired of the way my life is and I want a fresh beginning. And there are others who are saying, man of God, I once gave my heart to the Lord, but sincerely, if I'm to be honest with myself, things have gone around my life that I don't like. And if you will give me a chance, I want to make it right. I'm not going to cajole you. You don't have to come. Overflow one, two, three. I know we are busy, but the Holy Spirit is speaking to someone. The Bible says, in the day that you hear his voice, harden not your heart. I'm going to count one to five. If the Spirit of God has convicted you, leave your seat and run and come here. Don't wait for anybody to be the first to come. You are inside, you are outside. I'm counting one to five wherever you are. One. Let's appreciate them. People are coming. If you are coming, rush and come. One. Clear the way for them as they come. Two. The Bible says, Whoever, whosoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Please, those coming from outside, let them hurry. Apostle, I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not. I cannot sincerely say so. Stand up and join them. Three. Win that war tonight. I can't continue like this. There has to be a way out. I don't want my children to ask me questions I cannot answer. Four. If you're coming from outside, please run. Our time is gone. I count five and then I begin to pray. Are you running? Five. Now, let me tell you something. Brothers and sisters, God bless you. Keep coming. I salute every one of you. You see, we're a family. There is absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. God is dealing with something here that is a most serious issue. Are we together? And I, I truly celebrate you for the courage of coming to make a decision for Jesus. This is a family where we love ourselves and we love you. I want you to raise your right hand and say this passionately. You are not reciting a poem. Let it come from the depth of your heart. Jesus is standing in this place and he's listening to you. I'm only representing him. Please, if you are joining them, catch up fast so that you will start the prayer. Say after me passionately. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Say it again, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. 
tonight I come before you just as I am I declare that I don't have the power to help myself but this night I cry for your mercy I cry for your grace I declare by the authority of scripture that Jesus is Lord over my life I declare that you are my savior you are my king you are my Lord from tonight I receive the life of God eternal life into my spirit I declare that the power to live victoriously is given to me now amen keep your hands lifted in the name of Jesus I declare your sins forgiven in the name of Jesus I declare that you are the righteousness of God in Christ I declare that you begin a journey today that will cause you to walk perpetually in victory I declare that everything that surmounts you spiritually and otherwise I come against it right now the grace to walk in victory the grace to love God with all your heart is supplied you now in the name of Jesus I declare you born again I declare that you are sons and daughters of the most high in Jesus name I pray amen and amen thank you for this great decision please follow the gentleman waving his hands there's a gentleman at your back um, he's, he's waving his hands all of you just go in concert with him let's honor God dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye